All right, so here's a quick wrap up of these uh, graphs. These are very, very, very important that you understand these, okay? And hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. All right, so hopefully you predicted first before you do it, because it's really important that you think about what the graphs will look like. Um, don't memorize what you think the graph should look like. Really think about it and look at the slopes, okay? All right, so this one is gonna be moving um, in a positive direction, we'll say is to the right or down the hill in this case, okay? Um, and it's going to start at a velocity of zero. All right, and it's just going to roll down the hill. So this is exactly like what you saw on the ramp. <clears throat> okay, so your position graph should look like this, your velocity graph like this, and then this is a positive acceleration because the slope of this velocity graph is the acceleration. I don't think that was super clear on the last video. Okay, all right, um, is the position positive or negative? So in class kick, you're just, hopefully you just kind of highlighted it. Okay, the position is positive, right? Because all of these numbers above the axis are positive, okay? The slope over time, when I look at this slope, the slope is increasing, okay? The slope is getting steeper and the slopes are also positive, okay? So this tells me that this is speeding up, okay, because the slopes are increasing and it's moving in a positive direction, okay? Don't, that's it. Don't be super complicated explaining it. That's what the slope is telling you on this graph. It's speeding up while moving in a positive direction, okay? Uh, in graph two, is the velocity positive or negative? Okay, it's positive because again, it's on the positive side of the axis. It's on the like first quadrant side, okay? Is the slope constant increasing or decreasing? Okay, the slope of the velocity graph is constant and it is positive, okay? Since I know here the slope of a velocity graph is the acceleration, okay, that means that this has a positive constant acceleration. All right, so remember constant acceleration means that it's speeding up constantly. Right, it's getting one meter per second, two meter per second, three meters per second, okay? Which is different than a constant velocity. Okay, so just be careful, constant acceleration, all right? In this case, the acceleration is also positive, right? Because the slope is positive, there's your correlation here. And here the slope is constant, okay? Because it's zero, it's, it doesn't have any slope. This means that the acceleration is constant which means you can use the equations, right? Because those equations are built on the fact that the acceleration is constant. If the acceleration is non-constant, that's when we're gonna have to start using calculus, so coming soon. Okay, but for now, the acceleration is just going to be constant, okay? All right, um, graph two, uh, slowing down, moving in the negative direction, okay? So this way is still positive, but now this guy is gonna be moving in a negative direction and getting slower, okay? So he starts at a higher initial position, right? And then I'm getting to a lower position, all right? So you wanna think about how that can connect, right? So it could be a line, but it's not because we know it's not constant, okay? So then your choices are it could curve like this or it could curve like this. All right, and so you wanna look at the tangent line slopes, right? You want to look and see slow getting faster or fast getting slower, all right? So what's happening when it rolls up the hill? Okay, it's gonna be starting fast and getting slower. So it's gonna start at a high position, fast, steep slope, and then, whoa, that's ugly, flatten out, okay? The position is still positive because it's still in this first quadrant. The slope is now decreasing, right? Starts steeper, gets less steep, all right? The slope is now negative, right? Because it's moving in a negative direction. So this is gonna be slowing down in negative direction, okay? So now I wanna think about what velocity means, okay? So if it's moving in a negative direction, oops, that means it's gonna be under the axis. This is super, super important and very easy to screw up, okay? So if it's moving in a negative direction, it has to be under the axis, okay? And the slope is gonna be constant. So it should have looked something like it starts fast and gets slower up until the point where it hits the tippy top and it stops, 
Okay, see how the slope here would be zero eventually? This would be a velocity of zero. Okay, the slope is positive. The slope is constant. The slope is positive. Okay, so this actually has a positive acceleration. Okay, but it's moving in a negative direction. All right, so when the acceleration and the velocity have opposite signs, that indicates slowing down. Okay, just like up here, the acceleration was positive and the velocity was also positive. So that's the same sign, so that's going to be speeding up. All right, so you're looking for that comparison, right? So note, it does not have to be a negative acceleration to slow down. A positive acceleration will slow down if it's moving in a negative direction, okay? So the acceleration here is going to be positive. Uh, positive. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Positive, the slope is constant and zero, right? Which means it's a positive constant acceleration, okay? Right? So think about this. The acceleration is caused by the ramp, right? By the, by the shape of the ramp causes the acceleration. That's what we found out in the lab. So notice that this graph and this graph in number one, these are the same graph. They have the same acceleration because look at the ramps. This ramp and this is the same ramp. Okay, so the ramp controls the acceleration. That is the same ramp, so the acceleration is not going to be any different. Okay, just the situation is different with the ball. Okay, all right, moving on. Now, see, now we've changed the ramp, right? So we're going to expect a change in acceleration this time. Okay, all right, so um, now we're going to start at a positive position, okay, and move towards some negative position. Or not negative, sorry, lesser position. And then the ball is going to be speeding up as it moves down the ramp, okay? So I can go from here to here. I'm going to have to be like, oh, no, yeah, speeding up. Starts slow, starts kind of flattish, and gets steeper, okay? So when I take a look at my tangent lines, they start flat, and then they get steeper, okay? So my position is still positive because it's above the axis. My slope is increasing, which indicates speeding up. And it's also negative, which means I'm moving in a negative direction. Okay, so um, a negative direction, okay, because of the negative slope, speeding up, speeding up because of the increasing slope. Okay, so my velocity is going to have to be negative, right, under here because I'm moving in a negative direction. Okay, when this slope is negative, this velocity is negative. All right. Um, and I know the slope is going to be constant because we're only talking about constant acceleration. It's one ramp. One ramp can only make one acceleration. All right. So now we want to think about if it starts fast or slow. All right. So this one is starting at the top at a velocity of zero. OK, so it's going to start at a velocity of zero. OK, and it can only get faster. Right. It, it, like zero is the slowest you can go. So it can only get faster. But I know I'm moving in a negative direction. So it has to be under here. All right, so my slope is going to be negative, right? Therefore, that means I have a negative acceleration, okay? And I am speeding up, okay, in a negative direction, okay? My velocity is negative, but my slope is positive. Well, nope, sorry. My slope is also negative, okay? So negative velocity, negative acceleration, same sign, means speeding up, okay? All right, the acceleration here, we can see that it's going to be negative, right? It's going to be under here, constant, because they all are for now. And the slope is zero, which means it's a constant acceleration, okay? So constant negative acceleration, all right? Okay, four, same ramp, right? Same ramp is number three, right? So we already know this is going to be under here like this because it's the same ramp. All right, so now I'm starting at a position of zero, but I'm moving in a positive direction, but slowing down, 
right? So I have to start off fast and then get slower. So my tangent lines will start out steep and then get flatter, okay? Position is still positive because it's still above the axis. The slope is now decreasing because it's slowing down and the slope is positive because it's moving in a positive direction. So it's moving in a positive direction and slowing down. Okay, all right. Uh, since the um, slope is positive, I know that the velocity is going to be positive. So it's going to be up here somewhere. All right, and it's going to start fast, right? It started fast and got slower. So it has to be like this. This is the one that's most likely to be screwed up, okay? Right, because this is slowing down in the positive direction, but it's still in the positive direction because it's above the axis, okay? And then the slope of this is negative, which is why this is down here. All right, so the slope is constant. The slope is negative, and that means it has a positive velocity because it's above the axis. You might remember this being drilled into your head in freshman physics, I hope. If you had me, then I did my job. Okay, and negative acceleration because it has a negative slope. Okay, so these are opposite signs, which means this is going to slow down. Okay, so my acceleration is negative, constant, zero, negative, negative acceleration, and it's constant. Okay, All right, so those are the four basic shapes. Every type of motion is one of these things. You're either moving in the positive or negative direction, speeding up or slowing down. That's the only choices that there are, okay? There's nothing else besides that. Everything else is just some combo of that, okay? If the acceleration is constant, which 80% of the things we do will be constant acceleration or more, okay? All right, now up and down the ramp, right? I'm simply moving in a positive direction, slowing down, then in a negative direction, speeding up. Okay, so I'm just putting two pieces together. So positive direction starts fast, slows down. See, that's the first part. Then, oops, don't do that to me. Like that. Okay, positive direction, slowing down, and then negative direction, speeding up. Okay, so you're just kind of finishing out that parabola. All right, and now you'll see a whole bunch of calculus things and the concavity and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so if you're not there yet in calculus, if you're in regular calculus, when you guys get to this in like January, February, you're going to be so happy because it's going to be so easy for you by then. Okay, all right, so I start fast. I slow down at the very top, right? I come to a brief stop as I switch directions and then faster. <clears throat> okay, right? So the slope is, this is kind of dumb, I guess the position is still positive. The slope is decreasing then increasing, okay, and then the slope is positive, then zero, then negative, all right, but big idea, the slope is still the velocity. No matter what's happening, the slope of the position graph is still the velocity, okay? Is the velocity positive or negative? Okay, it's going to be both, right, because it's going to start um, moving in a positive direction, slowing down, all right, then in a negative direction, speeding up. All right, so this point here corresponds with this. All right, this is the turnaround point, okay? Moving first in a positive direction, then a negative, okay? And then look, here's the important part. This has one negative slope, right? Because remember, the slope um, is, sorry, one, yeah, negative slope, one acceleration. The slope of the graph or the acceleration is based on the ramp, right? So we have one ramp here right? We don't have a ramp that looks like this or like this or anything. We have one ramp, one acceleration, and it is negative. The whole slope of this is constant and negative, okay? It just changes what happens when the velocity changes on the way up. The velocity is positive and the acceleration is negative, so it slows down. And on the way back, the velocity is negative and the acceleration is negative, so it speeds up, okay? All right, this is really, really important. Don't say deceleration, okay? And make sure that you understand this is on the next page. All right, then you're gonna go through and do a whole bunch of just practicing, okay? You can just use your class kick pencil to, to draw these things and then write a little explanation of the motion, okay? And if you can get through all these and understand that, I think once you see it, it's not that hard, but you really wanna think about it 
Okay, think about looking at these slopes, okay, and think about where the velocity graph is, above or below, right? Fast, this is the slowest, the middle is the slowest. So anywhere it goes from the axis has to be getting faster. Okay, getting slower into the axis, faster out. Okay, and then acceleration, just get the slope.